Somewhere far away, a young woman tires. Her dress is a deep blue with yellow flowers midnight. She's the beginning and end of mysteries. Closing the distance between kitchen and sitting room, she is drawn into the space on sounds of laughter from a joke her presence erases. Ekale my as she curtsies, silently counting the bellies she must now feed uninvited. The unmastered melody from air conditioners and generators rise in the stuffy Lagos air, but do not drown out her mother-in-law's voice now coupled with a gaze roaming the atlas of her body. Tolu, kilo day, baolo my bimon, she thunders, as though falling pregnant is a gift she has chosen to withhold out of spite. The uncles don't want to be left out, so they join in. We have a daughter in London, same name as you. We tell her, be like Tolu Lagos. Long hair, manicured nails, goes to church. The house always smells like jollof rice, F4, dodo, you know, hearty food. We tell her your stature blends vulnerability with an unthreatening measure of intellect. Not like the opinionated chat back she uses to chase the men away. We tell her you are brains and beauty, drawing worlds from the tips of your fingers like your father. That's why you're successful, married at 22, living in a mansion. But you're embarrassing us now. 24, no children. Should we find him another wife? Tolu smiles a zip across the pain she wants to hail all over this woman. The uncles, her husband, sitting there silently, loving her like you do your favorite pair of shoes you wear outside even when the rain is torrential. She wonders how all her rage folds into duty at moments when logic would welcome a scream. She thinks about this Tolu London what she looks or sounds like, how the conversation would unravel if she told the story, including all the bits the uncles miss out, that she is an architect denied the plans to her own life. Banging pots like symbols in a kitchen is sometimes her highest form of opinion that marrying young and living in a mansion can be like 24 karat gold gates to a rusting cage nobody warns you about. That beyond the endless guests and expectations, the weight of culture, that somewhere there is an empty beach that beckons, which she may never see, with enough sea to ease away the strain of a duty that aches. The in-laws break into her thoughts refusing her the courtesy of veiling the threat of a new wife. She thinks about herself, about women like her all over the world, trapped by reluctant duty, all the while fantasizing about flight, a different part in this saga. After all, didn't a wise man once say, the whole world is a stage, and we are all just actors. <laughs>